Hi there folks, my name is Burke Holland and welcome to this set of videos on deploying our app to Azure. As you can see, I've got our app that we've been working on deployed to Azure here. If you check that nifty URL. In this video series, we're gonna look at a lot of stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna start with some tooling that you can install, including my favorite editor, Visual Studio Code. So if you're a Visual Studio Code user, you will be in good company. If not, I think you'll enjoy getting to see what uh, another editor can do anyways. I'm also gonna show you a bunch of tips and tricks inside of VS Code. We're gonna look at Git integration and some user settings and how to handle environment variables and even how to run and debug Node or Express applications. Like how do you enable this nifty little panel down here which shows all of your NPM scripts. We're going to cover all of that in this video series, as well as how to work with Azure right from within Visual Studio Code. But with Azure, there's always many ways to do the same thing. And so we're also going to look at the Azure CLI. So the Azure CLI is how we deploy and manage and work with Azure from the terminal. You can see here with this nifty Azure ASCII art. I love that part of the CLI. It's so cool. Now the Azure CLI is a powerful tool. It allows you to work with everything in Azure and Azure is way, way more than just hosting websites. It's got all sorts of things. As you can see here, Kubernetes and batch services and content delivery networks. And so we're going to look at how to use the CLI and sort of the core commands that you need to know there to work with web applications in something called Azure App Service, because that's what we use to host our applications in Azure. And speaking of Azure, we'll of course look at the Azure portal. A lot of the things that you can do from VS Code, from the Azure CLI, can be done right from within the web portal. It's a very nice way to work with applications. It's very visual. It's relatively easy to use as well. And I'm going to show you how to find your way around an app service project and the portal in general so that you'll have a really good idea um, and become comfortable in the portal and know where to find all of the information that you need. We're also going to look at some other concepts, some things like environment variables in Node. How can we pass environment variables to our application here so that we can reference them inside of the code? Here, like a database connection string. We're also going to look at logging. Logging is one of the key things that you need to know when working with Azure because once you deploy the application, you're going to want to be able to troubleshoot it. What happens if you forget to deploy a certain NPM module? Uh, what happens if you use the wrong port? How do you diagnose a problem when it says server unavailable? So we're going to look at that as well. We're going to look at how to do logs inside of VS Code. We're going to look at how to do logs inside of the Azure CLI. And of course, we're going to look at how to do logs using the Azure portal. So this module is a lot of fun. It's relatively easy to do, but there's a lot to learn. So let's get started.